Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You've been on the journey with us with the G80 all the way from the beginning. We started with the aesthetics, with the springs, the AST springs and the spacers. Then we moved into our mid pipe, which made a little bit of power. i have been really focused on aesthetics, the Vorsteiner pieces, the raised wheels, the Titan 7 wheels. And we wanted to keep it a tier one build with all of our parts, which is a Kropovich, even Shuri, which is here on the table, Moton, Vorsteiner, all those really nice pieces for the car so we could showcase really what we can do with the G80 platform. The aesthetic focus was something that we wanted to start with because I wanted to improve the way the car looked, which everyone hated on and now everyone loves. Um, so now we're gonna move into phase two with the car, which is the horsepower. Now that Femto is in Finland, we can now send the DMEs over there, we can get them unlocked and we'll be offering that very soon through the shop. Um, so now we're gonna start adding horsepower with mods. We already have with our PSI mid-pipe. We already have with the Akrapovich. We actually have a Daler piggyback unit on the car too, which added about 90 horsepower to it, which is great, but I prefer the tune. But we'll get into that in another video coming up. Today I wanna to focus on the even Cherry intake. Um, I'm not an intake person. I've told people many years, just do a drop-in BMC filter, just do something like that. The OEM intakes are great. And then even Cherry came out with these products which actually make power. They're super nice, they're super well-made. And I'm just gonna take you through that a little bit. So they basically re-engineered the intake for the G80. It now has 40% more surface area uh, for the intake side for the filtration. It has 160% larger inlets, which is on the turbo side, which is right here. So we're basically gonna install it it's 18 horsepower, similar to our mid pipe. So we're gonna add another bolt-on horsepower to the car and we're gonna take you through the install right now. So let's jump into that. So as we sort of prep for the install behind me, I'm gonna go through all the components here that's on the table. Um, we have the housings, which are kind of the cool part. They have the Venturi intakes inside with the filtration, the filter system, which like I said, is 40% more um, surface area for filtration. Um, we also have these housings which are part of the intakes. This is where the air comes from. And these actually mount like this to grab the air when it's on the car. You'll see that once it's installed. Um, here's the main intake tube right here, which gets all the kind of glory in the front of the car when it's installed. Uh, here's the inlets, which are 160% larger. There's also some really nice worm clamps or even cherry branded. These are super nice, all silicone, all OEM hardware, all stainless, um, just super nice. I mean, everything is the best it can be and that's what we want this build to be. So we're gonna take you through the install now and be back with you later. So we have the engine cover off, we have the strut tower brace off, we've removed the stock intake boxes and also the main tube that sits here. Um, he actually has one of the inlets off right now. He's working on getting the inlet on the driver's side off now. So let me walk over and show you the stock pieces. Um, this is that army men plastic that BMW likes to put in all the new cars. It's not super nice. Um, super nice clamps and uh, attachments, but overall just plastic. Uh, these are the inlet boxes. This is the stock filter that's inside there, the filter element. Paper filter, pretty standard for BMW. Um, here's the stock inlet off the passenger side. It's a cast aluminum piece, super nice. But if you come over here to the even cherry one, this is where the, you know, the mass of everything changes. So instead of it being this size, it's this size. So pretty big difference. And this is actually has a nice heat wrap on it with some metal zip ties. Um, it's on a real heat intense side of the motor. Um, so that's another stock piece. Um, when you look at like this, for example, this box, um, that's replaced by this one. And this actually is part of the bracketry system that mounts, which we'll show you later. Um, this replaces that piece and then this piece is a replacement for this one, which is over on the driver's side. So this is the driver's side piece. Um, these are connected with the main tube like I showed you. So which one would you rather have on your car? This one or 
this one. So another cool feature I wanted to point out is that the inlets have dimpling in them, which allows the air to flow at a much higher rate once we start tuning the car and making power. And this intake system has been tested up to a thousand horsepower. So you can put this on when your car's stock, you can tune the car up to a thousand, which is more than enough, I'd say, to be able to increase the power. Uh, the other thing I'll point out is all the boxes and everything have a very smooth inner surface to allow the air to flow to not hinder the air. So just some details, some engineering that goes into this that makes it a really cool piece.